Hello everyone, my name is Emily Leal and I'm a marketing intern this year with University Housing and welcome to You Are Home Live. Today we're at Futural Hall and first I just want to say, uh, give an introduction to my cameraman, Britt. Say hi. Hello, my name is Britt. I'm the student designer at Housing. I just graduated the BFA in graphic design. And a few points of interest is the bookstore is right over here and the housing office is just to the right over there. Cool. So I guess we'll go ahead and head on in. Let's do it. Got a lot of people joining. Yeah, let us know where you're from. We're very curious who's coming this fall. A lot of waves. <laughs> Emily, you lived on campus a few years. Where, where have you lived? Um, my freshman year, I lived in a hall that is no longer used anymore. It's called Buchanan. Mm -hmm. And my sophomore year, I lived in Gregson at Central Campus. Okay. Got it. So you're going to have to fob in to all the residence halls, and you'll be given a fob at your orientation or sometime uh, yeah, when you before move you move in. in. Yeah. Your key. Oh, and this is... <laughs> Natalia. Hey everybody, so my name is Natalia. I am the CRE or coordinate, coordinator for residence education for both Futural and Holcomb Halls. Um, I don't know if this has already been mentioned, but Holcomb and Futural is kind of paired together and so you're going to be interacting with the other building a lot as well. Um, we do some events over there too, so tune in for the Holcomb uh, UARC Live as well. It's going to be next Tuesday at 4. But I'm here to help out, take you, take you around the building, show you some fun things. Do you ever know the size of this particular hall? How many residents live here, do you know? There's about 200 residents that fit in Futural. Wow. Um, the building is all female. You can have male visitors um, come over, something to know, and I'll point it out when we go downstairs, but there's only one gender neutral bathroom in the building. Since we are community style, if you have any male visitors come over, they will have to use that one and not the ones on the floors. Good to know. Yeah. All right, let's go for a tour. That sounds great. Cool. So we will actually uh, get started with our front desk. Um, if you look over here to the right, you can see some beautiful mailboxes. Well, they don't work. <laughs> you don't get your mail from Futural. You're actually going to go across the street over at Morgan Hall in Northwest Quad um, and pick up your letter mail, your packages, stuff there. Um, so make sure you are not having things sent to the building address because it's not going to come here. It's going to get sent back. So just Keep that in mind. Um, another thing too is we actually have conferences staying in Futural this summer right now. So this right here isn't usually there. Um, if you ever lock yourself out or anything like that, you're gonna get your keys across the street at the same place you get your mail at the Northwest Quad front desk. But this is super helpful. We have an RA typically staff the front desk. So if you have any questions, you can always come here um, after typical business hours. Their shifts start at 4 p.m ask questions you can check out stuff like pool cues ping pong paddles board games cooking stuff things like that from here so it's definitely it's a good spot to know where the front desk is but we'll head over this way um in futural we have quite a few i'll channel my inner orientation uh, <laughs> leader we have quite nice. a few common areas in futural which is really nice um one of the most popular ones is right here to my right this is, thank you Christopher, um, this is one of the study rooms that we have. And so in here we have a couple different table areas as well as a whiteboard that gets used very frequently, especially by, like last year our physics students came in here a lot to study before exams. We also have a piano that you are welcome to use. In fact, please use it. It is so much fun whenever we hear people um, utilizing the piano. Do either of you play piano? God, no. The acoustics um, in here, by the way, are very good. I, I dabble in it. I'm not you good dabble in piano? <laughs> Do you want to premiere right now? Oh, no. Oh, I'm not right. <laughs> you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> good but, acoustics, though. Yeah. It's nice, though. I mean, honestly, a lot of people use the piano. Like, it's definitely a part of the culture here. Um, we get a lot of people from band who stay in Futural as well, which is really nice. So, this is definitely a good spot. Um, um, right out here we have another common area that also gets used pretty frequently, um, whether it is 
somebody just hanging out with friends and studying at those tables right there, or even over this way a little bit more, we have a pretty large TV. You can watch whatever on it. Um, you don't need to reserve it or anything. It's kind of first come, first serve. The remote's over there. You can also hook up your laptop with an HDMI uh, cable that way in case you want to, I don't know, like go on Amazon video and watch something. You can do that. Um, just a, a little small thing. We have a couple trophy cases. One is right here and one is over back the way that we came. Um, there, if you ever have time, feel free to check them out. They're, I'm not going to lie to you, they're all pretty old, but <laughs> they um, just showcase some of the clubs that or like organizations that have been in future as well as maybe events um, that we've gotten awards for and things like that. So it's just a, a little a little bit of our history. Um, but Very competitive hall back in the day um, yeah. with everything. Yeah, <laughs> we, we pride ourselves on being a good community. <laughs> um, so now what we're going to do is we will go downstairs, which is another one of our community areas or common areas that gets used a ton. So you'll want to make sure you know what this is. Um, one quick thing, we have recycling right here. There's another area downstairs. Um, this separates it all out. There are also going to be like giant green recycling containers on each of the floors as well. That way you don't have to travel too far. Um, we really try and be a sustainable community. So do your best. Do your best to recycle. And I hate to admit it, but I cannot walk backwards downstairs. No, please. I was just thinking yeah. that seems no. dangerous. <laughs> be very impressive. I, I have my limitations. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your, your background, how you ended up at the oh, university? Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, I should have started with that. So, um, something about me, I am actually originally from Oregon. I did my undergraduate at Colorado State, and then I came here for graduate school. Um, I actually just finished graduate school, so I've been in the whole computer community for the last two years, but as a grad student, uh, this is actually my first year as a full-time CRE, and I'm stoked about it, because I love the community. Last year, Holcomb was actually closed, and this year it's gonna be open again, so things are gonna be back to Back to kind of how they used to be, which is going to be really good for us. Um, yeah, that's kind of kind of how I got here, mm -hmm. and it's nice because I never really expected to move to Arkansas at any point in my life, but found out I loved it, so it's been really good. But this right here is one of our um, biggest common areas in the building. We have pool, we have ping pong. I mean, a lot of our events are going to be in this area. Um, just for y'all's reference, there are a few different types of events that you'll hear your RAs talking about. There are all hall events, which include everybody in the community. So that is all the future residents, all of the Holcomb residents. Um, and it's really common for us to have our all halls in this basement area. There are also floor programs, which is something that your RA will put on just with the people on your floor. Um, and those happen all over. It gets kind of up to your RA to figure out what's going to go on with that. We are also going to be having um, some events in Holcomb too though. That way if you live in Futural, you can become more familiar with Holcomb and get to know what that building is like too. We want you to be comfortable going between the two buildings and attending events that happen in either one. Um, over here, something that is pretty nice to have in our community is the fact that we have a movie room. So. In here, it's pretty dark right now for, for the ambiance, you know? <laughs> um, but these chairs are, one, super comfy. They also recline, which is really nice. And just like the TV upstairs, I mean, you don't reserve it. It's kind of first come, first serve. However, what we tell people is that if you have something scheduled that you wanna do, feel free to put a sign on the door, say that you wanna use the room during that time. And people always respect that. Um, but same thing, you can, we have TV on here, you can hook up your laptop, whatever, whatever you want to do. Talia and Emily, what are y'all watching these days? Oh. Any particular shows that are catching your catching your uh, interest? Let's step out in the lights. So yes, good call. call. <laughs> um, I know I've been watching uh, Loki, the new um, Marvel series on Disney, uh, Disney Plus, I think. Disney yeah. Plus, Disney yeah. Plus. And they'll pay us for that, I'm sure. Yes, oh, sponsor yeah. us. We're getting sponsored. <laughs> Disney's gonna pay me. But I really like it. I recommend it. <laughs> what I watch changes a lot. Okay. Um, during the summer is usually when I'll start watching a new show because I have no sense of self-control. Mm -hmm. So if I find a show that I like, I just binge it all just in one go. Yeah, it's bad. 
during the year is when I like rewatch shows like New Girl, things like that. Okay. Like lighthearted, happy things um, or movies. I'm definitely more of a movie kind nice. of person. We, we just discovered The Expanse. We're starting to watch that. It's a sci-fi yeah. series. Yeah. Brett, you got anything? Uh, the latest thing is uh, Peaky Blinders. It's a show oh. it's about a British mob back in the 1920s. It's pretty interesting. That's awesome. Uh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Lots of good recs. Yeah, definitely whatever shows you like to watch, feel free to utilize these common areas to watch them, either by yourself if you want or with other residents on your floors. I mean, they're definitely, definitely good spots to make some friends, which is nice. Um, over here, so sorry, Britt. Britt, I'm right behind you. So we have... Um, more recycling down here, like I mentioned, we are super committed to sustainability efforts in our building. Um, over this way, we have some vending machines. They're emptied out right now for the summer because there's not really anybody in the buildings. Um, they will be restocked when you get here, I promise. But this is something that you can use either cash or yep. Google Pay. Apple Pay, Google Apple Pay. Pay, electronic payments. Yep, whatever, whatever you got, that's, that's what you can use. Um, over here too, we have a full kitchen that y'all are welcome to use whenever. So it has um, a stove, a fridge, freezer, all of that good stuff. It gets used pretty frequently. And like I said before, there are uh, cooking utensils that you can check out upstairs, like pots and pans, mixing bowls, baking sheets, that kind of stuff. Um, I do recommend though, if you love to cook, if you love to bake, maybe consider bringing some of your own stuff because with those kind of like everything else that's first come first serve so if somebody's already using it it's not going to be available to you um or if you have just like specific things that you need or we, we got the basics <laughs> but any more specific than that you'll definitely want to bring your own um yeah so we will walk over this way um the so where we entered in from the front is the first floor this here is the basement. However, there are actually two entrances into the basement. Um, one is just right over here to my left, your right. Um, that is one of the entrances from the resident reserved parking lot. And then another one of the entrances is right over this way. Now you said you're from Oregon, right? Yes. And yet I heard you use y'all a moment ago. Yeah. Are you are you an adopter of the you all contraction? You know, I will admit Arkansas has rubbed off on me a little bit. The y'all actually came about when I lived in Colorado. Ah. Um, they say it a lot too. And part of it is trying to be more intentional about the language that I'm using. Because sure. I'm saying you guys, not everybody's a guy in the group, right. you know, so that's part sure. of it. But let's, uh, let's show the laundry. Oh, right. We'll catch it on the way back. Yeah. That's fine. We'll okay. catch it now. No, no worries. Um, so right here we have laundry available. And it's nice because there's actually an app that connects to your phone. So it will let you know when your laundry is done. Um, something to know as well is that if you forget your laundry and it disappears, go and talk to your RA because what we, we have a, an agreement with our ISA or custodial staff um, where, you know, it might be a little bit loud for y'all to hear, so let's walk over this way a little bit, um, where if a resident leaves their laundry in one of the machines, they will pick it up, bag it, say what day and time they picked it up, and it actually comes to me. Um, that way, if you lose it, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be safe with us. Um, if you don't come and grab it after a week or two, then we actually don't need it. So pay attention. <laughs> if your clothes go missing, more than likely someone on our staff has it or knows where it is. Emily, did you um, do your laundry here on campus or did you take it home with you? What did you do? Well, my home is in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. So I did not take it home. I did laundry every single week. Every Sunday was my routine. And I just did a couple loads and it wasn't, it was, it was nice just having it right a couple floors below me. So the laundry services here are great, especially with the app. Right, because it doesn't, you don't actually pay anything, it's part of the housing fees. Mm -hmm. And then, um, did you use pods or did you use powder? I use pods because I find them easier and they don't make a mess and they may be a little bit more expensive, but I find that it's definitely worth it. Thank you. So we have a 
nice outdoor space out here, which is fantastic. We have residents use it really frequently. Right now, our um, our maintenance and FEMA are actually doing a lot of yard works, which is why you see piles of leaves and things like that. But it's really convenient because if you follow this path right here, um, there's a gate over in that brick wall, and that's another way that you can get in from the resident reserved parking lot that I was telling you about. Um, it's really common for residents to come in through these doors because Fulbright Dining Hall is right across the street. That's also where you get your mail, where you you know, get your keys if you need a loaner key, all of that good stuff. So this is one of the easiest ways that we don't have to walk all the way around to the front of the building. Um, well, we'll go back inside and show y'all what a room looks like. So Futrol has four floors, but five if we're counting the basement. There are resident rooms on all five floors. Um, we're going to show you one of the rooms on the first floor, which, just in case we've forgotten, the first floor is where the front desk is, and so that's just to kind of give you a little bit of a reference. Um, on every floor, this room right here is going to be one of your RA rooms, so that way they're really easily, really easy for you to access. I mean, when you walk into the hallway, you're always going to be passing by here. It's pretty common for our RAs to have open door hours where they'll keep their door open so you can just pop in. Um, right over here, this right here is the trash chute. It is in this location on all of the floors except for the basement. The basement actually has a room <laughs> right here that you can just walk in. Um, but this makes it definitely easier if you need to throw out any trash that is in your room. You don't have to walk all the way downstairs. You don't have to walk all the way out to a dumpster. It's just right here. <laughs> um, Very convenient. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not. We do not have a functioning elevator in this building. We have an elevator shaft that is very deceiving and it's sad because it feels like there should be something in there, but there isn't. Uh, the elevator is actually too small to fit um, a gurney in it, so we, we couldn't have it. But uh, definitely remember when you are moving into the building, think like small boxes, if you have heavy things, Make it a smaller box because if, especially if you live on the fourth floor, you're going to have to climb up all of those stairs and bring your stuff up there. So be nice to yourself. <laughs> um, we We're going to go to the bathroom. bathroom first. Okay. So there are two bathrooms on each floor. They're basically identical. So we're just going to show you one. Um, the way that the bathrooms are set up is we have the actual Toilets over here, sinks are in the middle, and then we have showers over on this side. And so in each of the shower stalls, there's like a changing area and then an actual showering area for you as well. And in each of the bathrooms, there are four showers. So just something to make it a little bit easier when everybody's waking up in the morning for classes or work or something. Emily, you would have used the community showers in one of your halls. Uh, any tips or tricks about shower usage? Shower shoes, 100%. Make sure you have shower shoes. You don't want to be sharing the same floor with a bunch of people who are walking barefoot. So shower shoes, 100%. And then having a shower caddy, preferably for me, one that was like a soft material and like moves unlike a plastic one. I find that the soft ones work better, especially so you can just hang it up in the shower because they usually have hooks somewhere in the shower where you can just hang it up. So those are your essentials, definitely. Thanks. And we do have a question. Um, they're asking about the size of the beds. If, they're, if both beds are twin XL, I guess we can get to that if we get to the, when we get to the yeah. rooms. So we will head over to the rooms right now. Um, in Futural, the way that we have it set up is that um, one of the rooms, or one of the rooms, it's like it's not unlocked like I thought it was. Okay. <laughs> so we will. Let me go run and get that key. Okay, quick. perfect. So while um, he runs to get the key, I will answer your your bed question. So uh, we have the Twin XL um, beds in Futural. Uh, we also have the regular twin size beds, so typically how it works is one of the beds will be twin, one will be twin XL. Um, 
I recommend buying Twin XL like sheets and what are those things? Comforters? Good lord. <laughs> Comforters for your bed just that way you can be prepared just in case um, whatever bed you end up selecting is that one. Um, but it's nice because the furniture in the rooms is all movable and so when you see when we walk in, the room will be set up a specific way, but if you want to do something different with it, you are totally welcome to do so. Um, all of the beds are loftable as well, thank you. And so if you would like to loft your bed and say put your um, like desk underneath it, you are definitely welcome to do that. So. This is an example of one of the resident rooms. Um, everybody gets their own bed. You will get your own wardrobe. You have your own desk with drawers in it. The uh, top drawer does lock, which is nice. That way, if you have anything valuable that you want to keep secure, you can put it in there. And then, sorry, Emily. <laughs> there is one dresser per room, so you and your roommate will be sharing the dresser. Typically how people do it is one get one person gets the top three, the other person gets the bottom three. Up to you how you want that to work out. Um, yeah, this is, this is what a room looks like. Do we have any questions about rooms, or are we good? Got nothing so far. We have the one question about beds. That already got answered, yep. I guess. Yep. Let's go ahead and measure the beds just, you know, to, uh, to verify and confirm. Uh, do you mind helping her with that? Yeah. You can provide that hand if she needs it. Alright. Are we good? Is it hitting the thing or? Let's get this in action. We have a, a fancy measuring thing that oh there it is. Okay. Okay. Well that's just handy. Yeah. That's the frame. So this one's be... about seventy-two inches. I can measure it once more just to make sure. Put it on my hands so they know what the mattress is. About 70 inches. Okay. 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 Are there any particular rooms in here that, in this building, that have a different kind of layout or configuration? The only rooms that are going to be um, a little bit different, let's see, are our single rooms because they just have one set of furniture in it. Um, I'm sure I look weird with the window behind me, so let me move this way. Um, our, our rooms, uh, our single rooms, because they just have one set of furniture, still has like the full dresser and everything in it. Would that be like room 122? Would that be an example of that? It'll yeah. be our 11 rooms okay. over there. We do have somebody staying there right now for a conference, otherwise our key is in there. Um, but it's like, it's all of the same furniture, like same type, it'll look the same, you know, beds are the same, it's just about, Half the size. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but all of our rooms, if you look at the window over there, they have the deep window sill, which is nice. All of the windows open so you can get a good breeze um, when the weather is appropriate. And each room um, has its own uh, thermostat, and so you can control the temperature that your room is, which is really nice. You also have like Cox cable boxes, that way if you want to bring a TV, you can get that connected and that's totally free for you to use. Um, one thing to know is you can have a uh, mini fridge and a microwave, but it's just one per room. So please make sure you're talking to your roommate to figure out who is bringing what, or if you're rent renting one through the university. Perfect. Um, totally up to you how you want to do that, but just one of each. And to find out about renting it, you can go to movein.uark.edu and go to the Ready to Arrive page of that website, and you will uh, find information about renting uh, a mini fridge. And they're pretty nice size. I'm not sure if that's the exact model, but I don't think it is. But they're a pretty good size, the ones that you rent there. Yeah. What was the measurement? Um, I was measuring it wrong. It was measuring oh. it from the top. So okay. I'm going to do it once. Here, I'll help you. Right there. And while we're doing that, we have another question. Um, where will students be able to fill up their water jugs? Is there oh, yeah. a water fountain nearby? Yes, so each floor has two water fountains, one on this side and then one across the hall as well. There are also um, water fountains down in the basement that I neglected to point out, so I apologize for that. Um, we can walk over this way, and I'll show y'all once I take care of this. Christopher, would you mind getting that? I got that. Thank I got you. All right, that was the um, So... Yeah. We have, like I said, a couple water fountains um, on each floor. So one of the water fountains is just going to be your 
good old fashioned water fountain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I really needed to show you how to use it, but that's okay, we did it. Um, and then on the other side, there's one that has one of the water bottle filling stations um, that you just have to hold your water bottle up to. So they're both available. Um, and like I said, that's on each floor as well as down in the basement. Emily, did you get that measurement? Yes, so the bed closest to the door was about 73 inches, and then the bed closest to the window was 80 inches. Okay, so probably about 75 and 80, I think. Is yeah, there. yeah, and the, like I said before, the way that we have it is one of the beds is an XL and one is a normal twin, so just. And if I were making a, uh, if I were buying sheets or fitted sheets especially, I would just look at the dimensions that you're buying for rather than follow XL or Twin XL. I would just look at those dimensions and make sure you're within those parameters. Yeah. All right. Well, any more questions about the room itself? Uh, yes, we have another question. Okay. Um, how much space is between the bottom of the bed and the floor when it's not lofted? So, like, what's its original? Let's see how these loft. Because every hall's a little bit different. Yeah. So, right now, um, all of the beds in the building will be the same height, um, which is nice. So whatever this measurement is that you're going to get, you can count on that being the measurement for um, your room. 18, about 18 inches. Um, is this one that has a lofting kit where like you get a second set and then loft it? Yes. Or? So basically with lofting um, in, this, in Futural, up to here, you can loft yourself, super easy. You literally just lift up and it unhooks from this post and you can adjust it however you want. Um, if you want it to go higher, because like I mentioned, it's an option to loft the bed so that you can put your desk underneath. If you want to go higher, you'll put in a maintenance request for that. Um, that's super easy. It's just our fix it. You are housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. F I X I T. I have it bookmarked on my computer, so I okay. never never quite remember what, what the website is, but you can put in um, a maintenance request through that, and they basically bring an extra one of these, attach it to it, and make it higher. Um, so it is basically any post, if you want to come around this way and show, there are notches on this side. Um, and so each of these notches is an op, like a potential height that you can lift your bed frame to, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, and also on the website, you can find uh, under ready to arrive page on movein.uart.edu, you can find the dimensions every three inches you can block this thing and you can find at the top and the bottom of that. Let's see. Any other questions? Uh, yes, there is the one more. I can answer this one. Um, someone's asking about where they can find the room dimensions, and the room dimensions are actually on the hall website, on UARC Housing's website. So, you can find it in each individual hall. You updated that recently. On the oh, I did. That's that's my thing. <laughs> nice. I love it. Yeah. So you'll be able to find room specifics there. Um, I think I said this before. I can't quite remember, but each of the rooms are the same. So. What, whatever you see there is, <laughs> it'll be the same no matter what, what your room number is, which is nice. Any other questions that are coming in about uh, this great hall of 200 people <laughs> and with a fantastic uh, CRE? <laughs> we got nothing right now. Okay. Beautiful. Well, um, so we do have, you know, uh, new students coming in who are going to be uh, freshmen or first year students. Um, what would you have told yourself uh, three years ago, Emily? I would have told myself to try and join an organization or like a club or something. And we actually have a initiative or something now called Pick One. And if you visit uh, pickone.uark.edu, you can, you know, it shows us, it shows you all the organizations and all the activities you can do. And our goal is to have our students um, pick one you know, organization or something to do alongside of school. So you should go ahead and visit because doing something outside of just your classwork is definitely good for making friends and just having an overall great college experience. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, any other questions coming up? Um, did, uh, what is the window measurements? That is another one. We can get that that we're looking for. 
I think you might be able to use the, the inside of that to, to get that measure. And then there's another one. If you decide the loft, the bed, and then decide you want to adjust it lower, can you move it yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. That is definitely an option. Um, the beds are pretty light, which is nice. You'll probably want one other person helping you, just that way, because when you take the bed frame off of the post, they'll, <laughs> they'll fall in. So if you have somebody helping you, it'll help keep everything um, even. But you can totally take it down yourself if you want. Or if it's, let's say you requested to have it lofted really high, um, it'll probably just be easier for you to put in a maintenance request because they're, it's just kind of bulky, you know. What's that window? So the window is 44 inches wide and 51 and a half inches tall. Oh, and I can do the depth as well. Oh, because of the lip there, yeah. Should I do the whole thing or just this part? I would just do the little lip there. Well, actually, yeah, give me both. Okay. So the just whole more. ledge is 21 inches and the depth of the window is maybe about eight and a half inches. Okay, excellent. Well, if that's all the questions, then we may just uh, have Talia tell us uh, why we should be so excited about coming this fall. <laughs> so I might be a little bit biased because this will, like I said, be my third year in the whole Federal community, but I love our community. I mean, we always have so much going on, especially since Holcomb is um, our international student hall. That's where the Office of International Students and Scholars is. So we have a really, really cool community. Um, a lot of diverse people, a lot of diverse programming that we do. Um, so it's nice because this is definitely a good community where if you want to kind of push yourself a little bit and maybe go to one of our global series events which features different countries from around the world, um, you can learn about other countries and it's in the comfort of your home. So it feels safe but it's something that maybe you haven't done before. We also have, I mean it's a small community which is really nice even with Holcomb attached as you know a part of our community. It's still pretty small. Um, we have a lot of RAs though, and so it's it's really easy to get to know who your RAs are. Um, my office is located in Holcomb, but something that I'm going to be doing every week is just hanging out at the front desk and stuff, because I know it can be scary to go to a different building, but I definitely, please do not be afraid of me. I really, really love to get to know all of the residents in the buildings. I love going to the events um, and seeing who everybody is, and so please don't be afraid to say hi. I'm not mean, I promise, I promise. Um, but it's just, it's a, it's a good spot physically to be too, because we are at the top of the hill. So you won't have to climb the hill to get to your classes or to go and get food or anything. You're, you're sitting pretty right in the middle of it all. I mean, we have, like I said earlier, the bookstore, the union, Fulbright, you know, all of this stuff is really close to us. So it makes, makes your life a little bit easier. Thanks. Yeah. We got some more questions. Get some questions um, yeah, while you're talking. Uh, so is a built as single room the same as the one we're like, like, looking at right now? Uh, does a single room look the same as this? Yeah, or just have the same dimensions, same it'll, size? No, nope, it'll be smaller. Um, I'd say a single room is kind of right where I'm at to the window a little bit. That's kind of dramatic, but like, um, it's a little bit smaller, so it doesn't have enough room to fit an entire second set of furniture. Um, but like I said before, it still has, you know, you still have a wardrobe, you still have your bed, desk, um, dresser, all of that good stuff in there too. Cool. Yeah, and you can find the dimensions for the single and double rooms on the website. Um, it'll differentiate between which is which. Nice. Well, do you want to wave us out? Yes, sure. Well, thank you so much for signing in, for watching. Um, definitely if you have any questions, feel free to call the housing office or you know they'll get you connected with me and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might think of after the fact. But other than that, I mean, we'll see you soon, just, just about a month, which is super exciting. Thanks, y'all.